Slab City, a unique and colorful history of California's off-grid oasis. Nestled in the arid landscapes of southeastern California, Slab City stands as a testament to human ingenuity, resilience, and the pursuit of unconventional dreams. This off-grid community, often described as the last free place on Earth, has a rich and colorful history that spans several decades. From its humble beginnings as a military training ground to its current status as a unique haven for alternative lifestyles, Slab City has evolved into a vibrant and eclectic oasis that continues to intrigue and captivate visitors from around the world. Origins and Early Development The roots of Slab City can be traced back to the remnants of Camp Dunlap, a former military base used during World War II. Following the war, the base was decommissioned, and its infrastructure was dismantled, leaving behind a series of concrete slabs that once supported the temporary housing for military personnel. The slabs became the foundation for what would later become Slab City. In the 1950s, a small community of squatters and drifters began to settle in the area, attracted by the isolation and freedom it offered. These early inhabitants, often referred to as slabbers, created makeshift shelters using salvaged materials, transforming the barren desert landscape into a rudimentary yet functional living environment. Over the years, the population grew, and Slab City started to take shape as a distinct and unconventional community. The Manifestation of Alternative Lifestyles As the countercultural movements of the 1960s and 1970s gained momentum, Slab City became a magnet for individuals seeking an alternative way of life. Artists, bohemians, and those disillusioned with mainstream society flocked to the area, attracted by the idea of living off the grid and outside societal norms. This influx of creative and free-spirited individuals contributed to the unique character and atmosphere that define Slab City today. One of the most notable landmarks within Slab City is Salvation Mountain, a vivid and awe-inspiring work of folk art created by Leonard Knight. Using adobe clay, straw, and an array of vibrant paint, Knight transformed a small hill into a technicolor masterpiece adorned with religious messages and symbols. Salvation Mountain has become an enduring symbol of Slab City's artistic spirit and commitment to individual expression, community dynamics and challenges. Despite its unconventional charm, Slab City has faced its fair share of challenges over the years. The lack of basic amenities such as running water, electricity, and sanitation facilities has posed significant hardships for its residents. The absence of formal governance has led to a decentralized structure, with residents relying on a sense of community and cooperation to address issues and maintain a semblance of order. The community is characterized by its diverse and often transient population. While many residents are long-term inhabitants who have established a sense of permanence, Others come and go, seeking refuge from the pressures of mainstream society or pursuing nomadic lifestyles. This dynamic has fostered a sense of camaraderie and acceptance, with residents banding together to share resources and support one another. Current status and future prospects. As of my knowledge cutoff in September 2021, Slab City continues to thrive as an off-grid haven for individuals seeking a different way of life. The community has gained attention through various media outlets and documentaries, drawing curious travelers and intrepid adventurers to its sun-baked landscapes. Despite its lack of formal infrastructure, Slab City has attracted a subculture of artists, musicians, and non-conformists who celebrate its unorthodox spirit. However, the future of Slab City remains uncertain. The land on which Slab City is situated is owned by the state of California and falls under the jurisdiction of the Imperial County. There have been discussions and debates about the future development and potential eviction of the community. As nearby cities expand and land values rise, the pressure on Slab City to conform to more conventional standards of living has increased. In recent years, efforts have been made to address some of the challenges faced by Slab City's residents. Non-profit organizations and volunteers have collaborated to provide essential services such as water delivery, waste disposal, and medical assistance. These initiatives reflect a broader recognition of the unique cultural and social dynamics that define Slab City. In conclusion, Slab City's history is a tapestry woven from the threads of individualism, creativity, and a desire for freedom.
from its origins as a military training ground to its current status as a thriving hub of alternative lifestyles, Slab City remains a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. While challenges and uncertainties persist, the community's enduring spirit of self-reliance and communal support continue to shape its unique identity and capture the imaginations of those who venture into its sun-soaked embrace.